Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's October 7, 2020. Here are your latest church militant headlines. The Pope has named a McCarrick crony to oversee a key Vatican post. On Monday, Cardinal Kevin Farrell was named to head the newly formed Commission for Reserved Matters. The group decides which economic documents go public or remain confidential. Farrell lived on the same floor with homosexual predator Theodore McCarrick for six years and was widely mocked when he claimed he'd never had any inkling of McCarrick's crimes. The only thing I can tell you about McCarrick is I was shocked, overwhelmed. I never heard of any of this before. A faithful Chinese bishop is stepping down. At his last public mass on Sunday, Bishop Vincent Guo Shijin of Mindong announced his resignation, humbly saying of himself he has, quote, no talent, no virtue, no wisdom, no skills, no knowledge. The bishop, head of an underground diocese, has been the longtime target of persecution by the communist government. He closed his homily by reminding Catholics to place their trust in God, not man. A Catholic Supreme Court justice is slamming its 2015 gay marriage ruling. Justice Clarence Thomas, joined by fellow Catholic Justice Samuel Alito, published a statement Monday denouncing the case Obergefell v. Hodges as declaring a right that's nowhere found in the Constitution. He also noted, quote, Obergefell will continue to have ruinous consequences for religious liberty. A Nebraska prelate is denouncing Catholics who sidestep abortion. Last week, Bishop Joseph Hannafelt of Grand Island released a letter urging rejection of pro-abortion politicians, quote, to support such people because one agrees with them on other issues is to disregard the deepest flaw of moral character, the willful affront to the sovereignty of God as the Lord and giver of life. The president is again slamming Twitter for bias. Yesterday, Trump tweeted for an end to legal protections for social media platforms, after Twitter flagged one of his posts criticizing lockdowns, the flagged tweet read, flu season is coming up. Many people every year, sometimes over 100,000, and despite the vaccine, die from the flu. Are we going to close down our country? I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Let's watch the Vortex today. Michael talks about treacherous bishops and Vatican corruption. God bless you.